How to make a thermal weld cable to cable X connection. Before we begin, let's make sure we have the proper tools handy. They include the proper thermal weld mold and weld metal for the connection you'll be making, safety glasses, gloves, file, pliers, crimping tool, a natural bristle brush, a wire brush, flint igniter, propane torch, and handle clamps. Be sure to review the enclosed instructions for general safety, material preparation, welding procedures, and specific information about the particular type of connection you are about to make. You'll note that the mold for the CC11X connection has optional wear plates. They extend the life of the mold by protecting the conductor holes from cable wear. Using the wire brush, clean all dirt, debris, and contaminants away from the cables where the weld is to be made, providing a clean cable surface. Now that the cables are ready for the mold, make the mold ready for the cables. Insert the offset handles into the mold. Thermoweld offset handles for the two-piece CC11X mold with wear plates provide a more convenient side mount position. Other brands require a more expensive three-piece mold design. It is important that there be no dirt, mud, or moisture on or in the cable or moisture inside the mold, as moisture can cause steam and make the connection porous. The heat from a propane torch evaporates moisture from the cable and mold and assures a solid molecular weld. It is only necessary to heat the mold for the first weld of the day. Insert the cables into the mold and close the handle clamp. Next, place the steel disc into the mold. Make sure it is seated properly. Then, open the proper container of weld metal and pour it into the mold. Close the lid. The starting powder is located in the bottom of the tube. Tap the container to loosen it and place about 25% of it into the Easy Light ignition pocket. Now, using the flint igniter, ignite the starting powder. Wait approximately 15 seconds before opening the mold. We recommend while waiting the 15 seconds use the natural bristle brush to clean the top of the mold. Then open the lid and clean inside. Cleaning it now will prepare your mold in advance for the next weld. Knocking the slag off the weld not only cleans the weld, but lets you see the quality of the weld, looking for porosity and other imperfections. This is also a good way to test the weld strength. The result? A permanent, maintenance-free connection. One that will not loosen or corrode. One that is unaffected by high current surge and carries current equal to or greater than the conductor. You have just created the ultimate connection using Thermoweld exothermic welding products.